Hello, welcome back. This could be part two, I suppose. The first part, I cut a few boards from this pretty manky oak log and it turned out I had some really nice figure inside, some cat's paws, that sort of thing. This is how much is left. I'm gonna cut the rest up today, um, pick out the best boards and uh, show them off to you. There is some um, rot that I can see at the end of the log, uh, right in the heart. So it's gonna affect a few boards. I might have to get rid of those, but we'll see what they turn out like and make a decision. Gonna carry on cutting now and uh, hope you enjoy it. I just wanted to quickly show you the next stage. Uh, I'm cutting boards that are about, 50, well they are 54 millimeters thick. And if I cut another board, I'm gonna hit this here. So really what I want to do is flip this over, get my flat edge on the bottom and, uh, and lower these, make a new cut, and hopefully we'll get the most out of this log. You can see here it gets thin here, so I'm definitely only going to get one. And sometimes I probably wouldn't bother, but with this pippy log, the more interesting figure is towards the edge of the log. So I think this is going to be quite a good board still in here, so I just don't want to uh, chuck it away. Uh, so that's the plan. Unclamp, flip it over, make one more cut, and then that should be the log finished. Okay, so the camera wasn't recording, uh, just want to flip this over, a uh, bit of a schoolboy error. But no need to panic, nothing went wrong, it went really smoothly. I did it just in one millisecond, flipped that bad boy over. The main thing is, it's the right way around now. I'm gonna take that one more cut, get rid of the top, and should be left with a nice board, and then that'll be uh, the log finished. Okay, that's the uh, rest of the log. Gonna put it up, uh, get some water on it, and we'll have a look what we ended up with. Take some measurements, take some photos, stack it up, and that'll be it. Okay, I've got them up. Uh, I'll quickly go through them one by one, splash some water on, and see what you think. This is board number four five and six. This one looks like it's pretty good. Nice uh, figure. Not so much of the cat's paws. This is a bit further in, in the middle of the log. Pretty pleased. And then here you can see we're getting to the heart of the log. So that's where the rot was, yeah, that's no good. I'm going to keep it because you could uh, cut out the uh, part, it's pretty well contained and, and get two thin boards either side. So I'll stack it up with the rest of it, with the rest of the log. And again, not too much uh, in the way of cut boards here because we're right in the middle. Had a quick look on the other side and there's hardly any heart showing any any splits or shape so this board's a bit better than this one but again not much cat four or anything like that but really this is the quarter thorn board so you know it's got benefits of its own pros and cons but 
again, I'm going to keep it because you could cut this out and have two nice boards on the left and the right. Check out the next ones now. Seven, eight, and nine. These boards are nicer. Got the speckle of the cut's paw. Let's see what's coming up on the camera. Just little bits here because we're still near the middle of the log. But that's the nice board. Really nice. And then here, a bit more character as we get towards the edge. There you can see again, here's the cut's walls coming in. Nice figure. And then this board, is, this is the last board. It's a bit thinner than the others. I just really have to try and squeeze this one out. But, as I said, because it's near the edge, it's got more and more of this interesting figure. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. So I'm going to take some, going to take some pine toes, have a measure up. Got my trusty ruler here for the photos. Have a measure up, stack it up, and sell it really. recap them. Uh, the working title of this video was Monkey Log or Hidden Gem. Uh, it looked horrible from the outside but once we took the first few boards off, the first three boards, I think we were sure that we had a hidden gem on our hands. Had the really nice pippy cat's paw figure inside. Um, the first three boards were really interesting, uh, you know, full of different features and will make great piece of furniture, tabletop, something like that. Uh, carried on, cut the rest of the log then after that uh, and another four great boards came out of it and then two, another two that uh, had the heart in uh, but that's you know not such a big problem. Can cut two thin boards either side maybe or if the customer's really clever they could uh, do a fancy bow tie across the across the uh, heartwood and down the length of the board and uh, that would hold everything together. Uh, stacked it up, all stacked up now. It looks manky again really, you know, but we know it's secrets, we know what it's hiding. Um, I'll have to sell it green. I don't have uh, anywhere here to, any room to dry it as a stack like this and I don't have a kiln so I can't kiln dry it. Um, I've enjoyed filming. It, it's really slowed me down to be honest moving the camera doing things like this six times to try and get it right without making uh, different mistakes or embarrassing myself uh, I think if I'm going to uh, film another one I'll uh, do a crotch log I've got a couple of crotch logs um, they're normally got nice figure inside so that might be the subject of the next video uh, some oak crotch logs apart from that thanks for watching uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully uh, there'll be another video and hopefully uh, you'll watch that one as well, thanks. <laughs>